Hello, and welcome to your ninth law lesson. First of all, I'd like to say, if I'm speaking funny or something, it's not my fault, I've got a really bad cold. And uh, I have, did for my last video as well, in case you were thinking, why is he speaking weird? Um, anyway, this lesson, <coughs> this lesson is, um, this lesson's about advanced math. So, there's tons and tons of advanced math functions in Lua, and I've got a list of, you know, quite a few of them on the text tutorial of this, so I suggest you have a look at that. Um, we're just going to go through sort of the three mainly used ones. Actually, there it really depends where you're going to use them. I don't think you can class them into mainly used, but we're going to look at three. So, first of all, math.abs or abs. Um, basically, what this does, it turns negative values into positive values. For example, print uh, math.abs minus 100. Oh, the brackets are getting a bit confusing. Oh, no, what have I done? There we go. Um, save and run that. And there we go, it's printed 100. We've put a negative 100, it's printed 100. That's pretty simple. And the same thing with other numbers, so let's say negative, I don't know, that number. Yep, and there we go. It's going with the positive, 9,788. Alright, so that's maths.abs. Uh, ABS stands for absolute, so it's kind of, you know, the positive. Um, you know, it makes sense. Uh, next is um, actually two that I've sort of shoved into one when I was counting them. So although I've said three, we're kind of in four. Um, math.seal and math.floor. Um... Basically, seal is like ceiling, and floor is like floor, and this will become relevant in a sec. So, let's just make our print statement, math.seal, and as our input, we're going to put 3.1. Okay, 3.1, let's see what it outputs, click run, it outputs 4. Now, this is because seal, it's like the ceiling, the ceiling is up, it rounds up. Seal always rounds up. You could say 3.0001, it's still going to say 4. There we go. And now you know what seal is, you can probably guess what floor is going to be. Yep, you got it. It rounds down. Let's say 3.99999. It's going to round down to 3. Well, there we go. So, math.seal, math.floor. Again, they explain themselves. They're really simple and they're so useful. Um, next, we're going to be doing math.pow. Okay, pow. It's pretty simple. You know when you go like 3 to the power of 4? That's what the pow stands for, power. So, math.pow. Your first number is the number you want to do the stuff to. So, 3, comma. And let's say we want to raise it to the power of 4, like I just said. We'll put 4. So, that does 3 raised to the power of 4. So, let's just run this. Apparently, 3 raised to the power of 4 is 81. Okay, hope that's right. It will be right. And then, obviously, you can change your numbers and whatever else. Um, as I said, I've got so many more on the site. And, you know, um, a lot of them are probably more useful than these. But these are the simple ones. And I don't want to confuse people that aren't that good at maths. So, I thought we'll go through these. Um, math stuff's really useful. So, I do suggest you have a look at the text tutorial. Um, I can't cover them all in this lesson. Um, and I'd use an example, but haven't thought of one. Let's just say I'll make one up. It probably won't be that good. Um, print, enter a number. Actually, no, because then we're gonna have to convert. It's gonna be a pain. Now let's just say um, if three. I don't know. I'm trying to think of a math problem. I actually can't. But, you know, um, basically, open up a compiler, have a play around with it. Uh, I'm actually going to say this at the end of each lesson, so you may want to kill me by the end of all the lessons, all the times I've actually said have a play around with it. Um, basically, yeah, have a go with it. Math stuff's always useful, because then you think, oh no, how do I raise something to the power of something? I'm going to have to do really long calculations or whatever. Nope, you can just use math.pow, and then negative to positive, abs, and, you know, basically, go with it. You probably know it by now. I don't know why I'm repeating this, so that's the end of this video. Have a nice day.